Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to our channel. In, in, I am Rufia Seen, and in this video, I will show you how to fetch data from SQL Server and display in this drop down. And before proceeding, I'll also change the text of this form. So, first of all, click on this form and go to properties and change text from user form to user information. Okay, and now I want to fetch data from database so obviously I need a store procedure so I will go to SQL Server and inside my database inside this programmability tab insert store procedure right click and new store procedure so I will write control A remove all of this and create procedure USP roles load data into combo box and we don't need any parameters for this so simply as begin and end note in case of a combo box we need two values one which is the primary key and id which uh, will be saved in users table and one the value which we want to display in this combo box we want to display a role title in the combo box and role id as the prim primary key of this table and this role id will be stored in the role id in the foreign uh, foreign key in the users table so i'll write store procedure select role id and role title from roles okay so if you select this one and execute look at this we are getting our roles uh, as an output we are getting two values role id and role title uh, when we display this value role id will be hidden and will be used as a value member and administrator role title is will be a display member which will be displaying in this combo box when a user select a role its value member becomes its id and when the user save information this role id will be saved as a foreign key value in the users table okay so click on execute button over here and copy this store procedure name so when this form is loaded i want to populate this drop down so you can double click and generate load event and you can call a method create a method load data into roles combo box control period or dot and generate this method and as i uh, already told you in the previous video i don't uh, write one by one line because we have successfully performed CRUD operations in the database and this is also the part of CRUD operations we are reading data from database so we have write reading inf information in the view roles where we fetch data from database and display in the uh, data grid view in this data grid view i'll copy that code and i'll change it to display data into combo box so this is our function load data into data grid view i'll copy this code from here and i'll go to users form roles form let me get rid of this one and i wanna do over here so first thing i will import the namespaces and then i'll explain you what we are going to do and then I'll import namespace for my connection string as well because I have stored connection string in a separate video and now a uh, separate class now I'll re-change I'll change this one load data into combo box instead of load data into data grid view so at this stage we are good to go we are fetching data from SQL you are using SQL connection then SQL co command over here I am specifying my store procedure name then I am setting command type as in store procedure then I am checking if my connection is not opened then please open my connection then I am creating data table then I am reading data from database and loading that data into my data table so instead of assigning this data table to data grid view we will use our combo box name so roles combo box let me verify the name of this combo box go to properties and instead of using role user this is in a role roles combo box okay 
so copy this name from here and paste it over here dot data source equals to dt roles simple as that and we don't want this hidden column but understand now as i have already told you combo box contain two important properties one is a display member that will be displayed in this combo box at runtime and one is the value member which when we use user click on save information that value is gonna saved as an uh, value member in the database so we are already fetching those values a role id as an value member and row title as an display member so i will use uh, both of these so roles combo box dot display member as an role title and then roles combo box dot value member equals to role id okay so start your application again and look at this we are getting our roles perfectly working but we don't only have one role let me open a roles form let me start roles form so that i can define two or three more roles start again and let me set it power user and forget about description then user then salesman so we have now four to five roles in our database so let's change again the start of form user form we will not use this we will design a dashboard in our upcoming videos but for the time being uh, use this uh, step start again and look at this we have administrator power user users and salesman working perfectly fine thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next video where we will perform data entry validations on this form and also we will save uh, this complete information into our database thank you so much for watching take care allah hafiz assalam alaikum